Hello and welcome to the Zoll Zvent in-service demonstration. This multiple part series will provide detailed information about the Zvent portable critical care ventilator and its functionality. In this module, we will review how to navigate and configure parameters. The ventilator display is organized into four key functional areas. At the top left is the waveform window and message area. At first startup, this area will show the start menu to load default patient settings. Under normal operation, the waveform window displays plots for airway pressure and, if a pulse oximeter is connected, it also displays the pleth waveform. Directly below the waveform window is the icon tray, which displays key icons and notifications. The plug icon indicates the ventilator's current power source. A plug with a circle indicates the ventilator is currently operating on external power. The same icon with a strike through indicates the ventilator is operating on battery power. The next icon shows the ventilator's battery life status. The percentage indicates the current battery life remaining and the battery icon will fill or empty accordingly. When plugged into external power, the device will continue to charge during operation. The Z-Vent operates for up to 10 hours on a single charge. If the ventilator is operating while connected to an external oxygen source, a small O2 tank icon will appear. If the ventilator is operating in the non-invasive positive pressure ventilation modes with leak compensation enabled, a head with mask icon will appear. Anytime there is an active alarm, a speaker icon will appear. The user may mute the alarm for 30 seconds by pressing the cancel button. When the alarm is muted, the speaker icon changes to one with a strike through and a countdown timer appears underneath. This timer indicates the time remaining until the alarm resumes audibly alerting the user. During an alarm, smaller bell icons will appear directly above the primary icon tray. The number of bells corresponds to the number of currently active alarms. A solid bell indicates the current alarm that is displayed on screen. Outlined bells indicate additional alarms that are active but not currently displayed. Below the icon tray are the auxiliary parameter boxes. Some parameters have secondary values, which the ventilator displays in these boxes, such as minute volume, mean airway pressure, total breaths per minute, and inspiration time. These settings can be adjusted from the parameter context menus. Along the right side of the screen are the parameter windows. There are seven parameter windows in total. Heart rate, pulse oximetry, or SpO2, FiO2, peak inspiratory pressure, or PIP, tidal volume, breaths per minute, or BPM, and ventilation mode. Each parameter has a corresponding button that is used to adjust specific settings within the window. Within each window, outlined text corresponds to monitoring readouts or calculated values that pertain to the specific parameter, such as heart rate or SpO2 level. Outlined text values cannot be changed. Solid text represents the current parameter settings. These can be adjusted. The bell icon indicates that an alarm is set to alert the user should a monitored parameter fall outside of the desired setting ranges. To adjust a parameter, always remember the phrase, touch, turn, confirm. Begin by pressing the parameter button adjacent to the desired window. Notice how the setting within the parameter window is now highlighted. Each press of the parameter button cycles through each setting that can be changed for that parameter. Use the parameter button to cycle through settings until the desired value is highlighted. Use the selection dial to adjust the value up or down as needed. Once the desired value is reached, confirm the change by pressing the Accept button. The parameter is now changed. Remember, 
touch, turn, confirm. We have now completely reviewed the primary screen layout and navigation. Throughout the other modules, we will continue to explore the device's functionality and how to prepare the ventilator for use.